Hello. I thought we'd better uh, talk a little bit um, as we talk about dog training. Uh, one of the first questions that uh, our students usually ask or that comes up over and over again during the training is what kind of tools should I be using? What, what kind of collar? What kind of leash? Um, uh, and and I, I am constantly surprised at how people are um, unaware of what the tools do, what they're supposed to do, uh, that kind of thing. So I thought what we'd do is go through it. Now, this has a lot to do with, um, come here buddy, sit. Uh, we'll have Kaiser join us here. It has a lot to do with where on the discipline continuum you are. Um, and that, uh, that's what we want to talk about right here. Um, the discipline continuum literally is, is a, uh, a graph, if you will, uh, a chart that we have to be somewhere on. Now, our job here at Dog Pros is to assist you to decide where you need to be on the discipline continuum. The discipline continuum is the point that, that you need to be on in order to do a couple of things. One, to ensure obedience, compliance from your dog. Number two, to be reasonable. Now, here's the problem that we have with some of what's out there. Um, there are those who learn one technique. That is not common sense. There's, there's no common sense in using you know, my way or the highway. This is the only way to train a dog. Um, there, you know, you use this kind of collar, that kind of collar, this kind of thing, that kind of thing. Uh, the, you know, you have to be doing the clicker or the da da. Folks, that's not common sense. There are, each and every dog is different, each and every person is different. You have an infinite variety of mix there between dog and owner. So, what is at the very bottom of the discipline continuum? You are. Your voice, the way you stand, the way you are. This is fundamental. I have students who cry when they tell me about what's happening with their dog. They are tender folks. They're, they love their dogs. They're, they're terrified that they're going to have to give them up. I have folks on the other end of the spectrum, you know, um, those who have either worked in the professional ranks or have, have been heavily involved in the dog world, and they are more interested in technique. They're interested in success, in perfection. Each and every one of those people is different, but we always start with you, okay? There are dogs so soft Softness is a character trait. Sensitivity to unpleasant mental or physical stimulus. That if you look at them harshly, they sulk for three days. You know, they'll run in there, don't touch me, don't be around me, whatever. Those dogs require very little in the way of tools. Now, we would start then with the standard collar. 